Number 64, Emilio Horta. Now wait. Welcome, welcome. Wow, uh, what uh, a treat. Congratulations, Emilio. We have to let you watch your final play here and take us through it a little bit. You look at the replay here. They ran that middle screen a few times against you guys, but you snuffed it out the last mm -hmm. two. What were you seeing there? Man, I, kn I knew the screen was coming. I knew the screen was coming, so I, I stayed back, read it perfectly, and that's what, this is what happens when you play good football. Emilio, you've been doing some fantastic things so far for, for this Jeanette team, and uh, tonight was was magical. I mean, to do what you did tonight, Dan and I were talking about it, it's almost unheard of. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever think that you would have two fumble recoveries and an interception in a game at, from the defensive line spot? <laughs> Actually, I did not. <laughs> I never, never thought that would happen. You almost took one back, too, but they blew the play dead. Yeah, yeah. You didn't think you were free there. <laughs> yeah. Well, and how about the block? You, you had the block on, on Jimmy Sanders' interception, interception return for return. a touchdown. Yeah. Not only did you have one block, but you had two. At that point in the game, uh, you guys were, were facing some adversity. You were down. Had that play not happened, uh, this game could have gone a different route. Yeah, totally, totally. I mean, what 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 did Coach Hall say in the locker room at the half? Obviously, you guys have been have not really faced this much adversity this quick. Obviously, Clareton was a tough opponent, but yeah. tonight seemed to have a different feel about it mm -hmm. early on. Yeah. What what did Coach Hall t tell you guys in the locker Man, room? Man, Coach Hall he always he always hypes us up to get back into the game. He never he like um. Holy crap. I'm, I'm no, you're, you're good. Oh, Relax. Listen, you can, you listen, can have a seat if you want. Take, take a breath. It was an emotional <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Take a breath. Yeah, you want to drink no. of water, too? Yeah. yeah. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I have plenty of water down there. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, well, you know, Springdale comes out, Emilio, and they score three straight touchdowns on you. I mean, what was the feeling like on the sideline? Like, how was how were they able to get off to such a quick start, do you think? I mean, um, our feeling on the sideline, we were excited because we knew this was going to be a dogfight. So we we knew we had to come up, step up our game, and come back. Uh, like, it's just how football is. You always go down, you got to come back, fight back, never give up. What were you guys able to do to get back in the game, do you think? Like, what, what was the – was there a big play in your mind that said, you know what, we're back into it now? I mean, we mentioned that the pick from Jimmy was huge. Yeah, that was huge. But I gave credit to the O-line. We stepped it up in the second quarter. The first quarter, we were not good. We was not moving the ball. We was not – we wasn't we wasn't good. But second quarter to the end of the game, we, we, we definitely picked it up. Was there anything you did specifically to do that, or did you just start playing better? Uh, no, I, I always talk to my guys, always keep them up. We always talk to each other, keeping ourselves up. Now, you changed positions on us a little bit. Yeah. What, what was the story behind that? I know you didn't play last week, and then, you know, Ryan came in and did a good job at center, so they wanted to get you guys uh, kind of switched there a little bit. What, how's that been? Man, I don't really mind where I play as long as I get to play. Man, I, I know every spot on the line, so – I'm a dual threat on the line. Like, I could play anywhere. Hey, being versatile is huge, and you're able to do it for this Jeanette Jayhawk football team. Now, Springdale, they were fantastic tonight. They were able to spread the football around. They had the misdirection. They were able to throw to Dimitri Fritch. He could elevate and make the catch, and they had Logan Dexter was able to run the football, Kevin Kindler. So you guys had a lot to deal with. Yeah, that, they're, they're a very good football team. I give them credit. Mm -hmm, they absolutely. fought hard. They fought hard. Now, of course, the one thing that kind of bit you in the backside, it could have could have been worse, are the, are the penalties. You know, what, what do you got to do to kind of clean that up? I know it's been an issue I mean, every week for you. Coach all has been on our butts about penalties. Yeah. We we just need to stop and we need to cut them down, but it seems it's, it's difficult for us. Like, what was it like to play in a game like this? I mean, man, it had to be pretty it was, fun, right? It was ecstatic, man. <laughs> I, I loved every bit of it. It was and, a dog And fight. you could see there was some atmosphere here. I mean, obviously the stands weren't filled, but you did have a nice bit of fans in the stands. You had some fans along the fence there in the, in the south end zone, and uh, there was definitely a, a playoff atmosphere, and it, it felt like it tonight. For sure, it really for did. Sure. Emilio, thanks for your time, man. I know you got to go get the bus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, don't forget, you can watch back to this game on the bus if you want right. to. It's a good one to watch. <laughs> yeah, That's yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, Emilio Huerta, thanks you so Have much. Have a safe Thank trip you. back to Jeanette. Great job. Congratulations. Thank you.